Hi and welcome, Martina here with my second video with Bibi's Hummingbirds. The Hummingbirds are a Spellbinders release that came out earlier this month and I already have one video on my channel where I give you a walk through all the projects I've been creating with this amazing release. As I've been in the mood for creating and I thought I could give you some more inside in the way how I created my projects, I thought I'd just create another set of cards and take you with me. To start, I am ink smooshing with Distress Oxides. I am using fossilized amber, twisted citron and peacock feathers. And I'm just putting some ink from the pad to my working surface add water and press the paper into it, dry it and go back into the color until I have a saturation that I like. I am then putting all my colored pieces aside to dry and I'm starting to work on my background. I have my card bases already cut or my card background bases already cut to the size I want to have them. And I have then glued the hummingbird stencil, hummingbird textures, I think they are called, to my working surface using some washi tape and I'm then just spreading texture paste through one of these patterns of the stencil. You see me swiping with my finger over the edges of the cardstock. This helps to get a more smooth finish and I even if I like messy cards, I like them to look smooth and well crafted. That's why I try to pay attention to details like this. Whilst the stencil is dirty anyways, I'm using a second pattern on it. And I'm also putting just the texture paste through the pattern. And I am then just drizzling a tiny amount of Lindy's Magical, this is Looney Toony Teal, over the still wet texture paste. I am then just spreading that magical texture paste mix over my stencil back and forth until I have a coverage of color I like. This goes to the side to dry as well. And then the stamping part. I am using the three hummingbirds from the stamp set, from the Build a Scene stamp set. They come with coordinating dies, which I absolutely like. And I am stamping these black contours with a black ink. And because I like my contours to just have a slight and tiny extra, I'm using some clear embossing over the still wet stamp ink and I'm then heat setting it so I just have a slightly raised, yeah, black ink line on the outside. I have then taken my Spellbinders Platinum 6 and started to die cut my birds because I've stamped the birds to all of these tiny pieces of paper as well as some white cardstock because I'm trying to create two same but different cards. <laughs> you will see it in a minute. And I'm now just die cutting the whole flock of birds, which is super easy with the bed dies. They align nicely and I just put a tiny strip of washi tape to the corner so everything stays in place and I can just go through them quite fast. Don't they look nice? I totally like them. And that's, yeah, I think the preparation work is already done here. I am now in the decision phase where I, I had in mind that I'm going to use three birds on each card, but I think this is too crowded. So I'm going for two birds and I'm just trying to find a way how they look nice on the card panels. And I'm then choosing a sentiment from the Hummingbird Sentiment stamp set. And I decided that I'm going with just flying by to say hello, which is 
a very nice and super versatile stamp yeah, text. I am again using my black ink on the cardstock and I'm then again using some clear embossing powder just to make the stamped image a bit more crisp and a bit more standing out. It's an effect I really... I think I, in 99% of the cases I am using that heat embossing over stamping because I just feel it gives you a very nice finish of the stamped image. As always, when you're working with embossing powder, don't forget to funnel the excess powder back into the jar, close the jar and put it aside. I'm then adding some foam tape to my birds to give them some more dimension so I am able to give them some, yeah, some air under the wings so they are able to fly. And I will also add the same amount of foam under my sentiment, which I just cut to the size that the text was giving. And I'm now doing the same thing with the second card with the white texture paste in the background. I'm still trying to get all three birds in, but as I already mentioned, two birds are absolutely enough. As the birds are now on the cards, I felt that I am lacking of some bling or juge or extra and I'm browsing my bling and sequin stash. And on the more black and white card with a just slight colored detail, I'm using some color essential gems. These are the onyx black ones. And I felt the card doesn't need much, but some more black could be nice. And for the other card, I'm using the teal opalescent sequins from Spellbinders. And as always, I'm just tossing a fair amount of set sequins to the card and then just using my Burly Arts glue and my pickup wand and then just randomly place the sequins on the card. I feel that this allows me to create the most organic look with my sequins because I personally prefer it that way. And as you see, it's a very, yeah, fast and uncomplicated technique. And these are my two cards with the build scene set from Bibi's Hummingbirds. I hope you liked the process and I hope we see us soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye!